Hi, this is Maggie from Design Code Debug Repeat. If you're a beginning programmer, a beginning game programmer, a programming teacher, or if you just find this content interesting, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be posting lessons, tips, and cool programming stuff regularly. Now today I'm in Eclipse, and what I'm going to show you today is how to add a class file to an Eclipse project. But first let's talk about what a class file is. Now over here in Notepad++ I wrote a little rectangle class, and if I execute this, now it doesn't do anything because it's just a class, but if I execute it, notice that in the folder where I had my Java file, I now have a class file. And if I try to look at that in a text editor, this is what I get. Right, so what is a class file? It is a compiled Java file. And you can use a class file in a program and we'll get all of the functionality, but you can't necessarily see it. So imagine that you've been given just a class file and maybe some documentation like this Java doc that I generated from that class file. And it's your job to add this to your project and use it. So we'll start by creating a Java project and uh, we could call it rectangle class demo, it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm not gonna create module info. Okay, now source, the SRC uh, is where we would create any of our Java files. But what about a class file? We need to create a special folder for any class files we want to add to the project. So what we can do is right click on this and choose show in and then system explorer. So this is going to bring up this folder with the project on our desktop and that's wherever our Eclipse workspace is. So you might already know where that is. Okay, and I don't have anything in here in this Eclipse workspace except this project I just created. So here it is. Um, here's SRC, and you would think our class files would go in bin, the binary folder, but they don't. We have to make a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to call it classes. And I'm going to drop the class file that I was given into that folder. So let's find it. Okay, here it is. Remember, we had rectangle class, which we got when we compiled rectangle Java. So I'm just going to, I'm going to copy it, so I'm going to leave it here. And I'm going to paste it into that classes folder. Okay, so this is part of my project now, but Eclipse doesn't know that yet until we refresh this, or we can't see it here until we refresh. Now that we've done that, we can see the classes folder. And then there's one more step. So we're going to go to project properties, and you can also get to that by right clicking and in the context sensitive menu, choosing properties. And then we're going to go to Java build path and libraries and class path and we're going to click Add Class Folder. And now we're going to check next to our new folder I called Mine Classes. You don't have to call it Classes. Call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to click Apply and Close. And um, now, how do we know whether that worked? Well, let's right click and create a new class which uses our rectangle class. OK, so let's call it um, rectangle test. Okay, and we'll give it um, a public static void main. And what we're going to do is create one of those rectangle objects in here. And if that works, then the class has been successfully added to our project. So we can sort of reference our Java doc, or maybe you were given a UML class diagram or some other form of documentation for the class that you are to use. What you don't have is the source code.
All right. And uh, we could also send a message to it if, if we want to. And let's ask the rectangle. Um, looks like, looks like Eclipse is pretty aware of it um, for its area and print that out. Okay. And when we run this, we get output. So we have successfully added that class file to our Eclipse project and we can use it now, make as many rectangles as we want. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, if I left anything unanswered, please feel free to ask them in the comments and I will get back to you. If you like this sort of content, please consider subscribing to Design Code Debug Repeat. Take care.